Scott and Jeremy, the two filmmakers, um, approached me and said, hey, you know, we want to do this. Uh -huh. And I turn a lot of things down at this level because a lot of people just aren't prepared to make a movie. These guys have mm -hmm. the experience and they've made movies before. And I saw the stuff that they had made. They made a short film that blew me away and I was like, okay. You had actually called this a homage to the 80s. It is. It absolutely the 80s is. 80s video games, is that what you said? The 80s is well represented with you know, mm -hmm. hairstyles and cars and music and games and all that stuff um, is in the film. I think people are going to love those references. What about you? Did you play a lot of video games in the 80s? I <laughs> did, actually. I played, yeah, I mean, you know, back in the 80s it was like Mario Brothers, yeah. you know, and I got to meet Miramoto. I'm, I'm a big gamer. I really am. I love games. I, um, I had a sh TV show uh, called Geeking Out. I'm a total geek. Mm -hmm. Games today have better production value, better special effects, better motion capture, better acting sometimes than some films. So the, the crossover is natural. And with uh, you know, Spielberg doing Ready Player One, um, it's just, it's, it's again brought uh, games into this, you know, not that it needs to, but put a spotlight on it. Um, Stranger Things has thrown us back into the 80s. And so it's a really good time for a movie like this to come out. Um, Scott, I've been meaning to ask you, uh, Max Reload and the Nether Blasters, that kind of sounds like something your kids came up with. It does, right? Yeah, we worked very hard on the title <laughs> over many, uh, many, many creative yeah. sessions. So the plot of Max Reload and the Nether Blasters is a small town video game store clerk has to go from zero to hero after accidentally unleashing the forces of evil from a cursed ColecoVision game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's your audience? Who's gonna love this movie? Man, I think for this film, anyone who's into any form of gaming, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's got something for everyone because it kind of spans retro gaming nostalgia all the way through current right. video game Mobile play. gaming and mm -hmm. PC gaming, gaming, console gaming, yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, yeah, this is my first lead role. Before doing this month of shooting, the most days I had on set was four days. So this was a huge, exciting moment in my life. I feel like I've been working my whole life for this, and here we are. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, 100%. Actually, when I had an interview with Scott and Jeremy, the directors, I remember telling them, like, I am Max. Like, <clears throat> I say, I have all of Max's isms. It's going to, it's going to look like a $10 million movie, and the budget is way under that, and, and they welcomed me coming on as a producer. I brought friends on, Lynn Shay, uh, Joe Reitman, Kevin Smith, and um, these kids that are acting, oh, Hassie Harrison, mm -hmm. um, Joey Morgan, and Tom, they're amazing. They're really good. Are you on? Okay. Hey, my name is Octavia, and I'm here with Jesse Cove. And Jesse, you play, you play a very important character. You actually play Steve. Yes. I'm actually doing character prep right now. Um, I just finished a whole pizza, because that's what Steve would do before he goes on, on camera. He would have just eaten something or gone to the gym, um, which I've done both. Did you go to the gym today? I did. Not. What'd you work on? Uh, I, did sh I did shoulders and biceps <clears throat> and some back as well. So you play Steve uh, in Max Reload. What's Steve like? Steve is... <laughs> Steve is, the, you know what's funny is they, the Jeremy Trem and Scott Conner, the directors, they called me up and they're like, you know what, we're writing this character and he's kind of like you. And I was like, oh God, <laughs> what's going on? And he's just this super energetic, fun guy. Um, and you know, he's very much into working out. That's part of his character is he loves the gym and I love the gym, so it kind of works out. And uh, he gets involved into this crazy wild adventure that these kids go on. And uh, I won't say too much, but it's definitely a wild, wild ride. I love, I, I wish there was more, there were, you know, there's more cinema, or, you know, more uh, TV and film being shot in Arizona. There used to be a lot more. So hopefully, you know, that'll, that'll come back. But I'm really excited now to take this and show the world. And there's so many different ways that we might do this. We've had interest from, so, we've, this film has such an amazing support network. Um, companies in the gaming world, that have supported this, really, uh, from the console makers to the game makers to, um, you know, these chairs and keyboards and everybody has embraced this. Thank you very much. All right, <laughs> thank you. Is that Tom over there? Hey, Tom. Oh. <laughs> Is that Tom? Is he over there? Sorry. Yeah, he's over there. Sorry. Hey, you you're suck. You suck, you're, Tom. You're a great actor. You suck. Thank you so much. Yeah, I need to get the hell out of here, okay? Yeah. All right, I'm Octavia. Thanks for joining us.